generating a combined liftoff thrust of nearly 1.8 million pounds, the RD-180 engine and three solid rocket boosters ignite to start ULA's Atlas V rocket on its trip to orbit. Shortly after liftoff, the 1.7 million pound Atlas begins a pitchover to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the rocket experiences during flight. Within the first minute of flight, Atlas reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound. Within the next two minutes of first stage flight, the Atlas V rocket will jettison all three GEM-63 solid rocket boosters and will then more than double its velocity. Once the rocket is climbed above the densest part of Earth's atmosphere, the payload fairing is jettisoned. With the majority of its propellant expended fighting against the force of gravity, the main engine shuts down, followed by release of the booster stage. The rocket now weighs a little more than 10% of what it did at liftoff. To deliver the twin SES-20 and SES-21 satellites to near-geosynchronous orbit, Centaur will perform three engine burns. Fueled by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, the first burn takes the spacecraft to a LEO parking orbit. Following the first main engine cutoff, Centaur performs a short settled coast and turns to the second burn attitude. The second burn powers the trajectory onto a geosynchronous transfer orbit with a maximum altitude in the geo belt. Following a multi-hour coast, Centaur comes alive for a final burn as it prepares to release the SES satellites into near-circular, near-geosynchronous orbit at an inclination of just 1.9 degrees. Prior to spacecraft separation, Centaur enables a minimum residual shutdown to complete the final burn, utilizing all onboard propellant reserves to achieve the final orbit. This capability allows Centaur to extract every ounce of performance available. More than five and a half hours after liftoff, Centaur releases SES-20, followed nearly 40 minutes later by the release of SES-21. From their delivery to near geosynchronous orbit, both satellites will require only minimal raising to their final orbital position and rapid activation of commercial broadcast services.